I'm Mark, and I'm a proud Republican registered in Pennsylvania. Uh, first thing is that the election we just went through, in my view, was very fair, legitimate, and accurate, just like I believe the previous elections in the United States have been. Um, the reason I believe this is not because I don't think that there are accidents, problems, unforeseen circumstances, uh, unfortunate events that happen on minor scales uh, in each election, just like uh, people have been reporting on social media. Uh, I think these things happen, but ultimately it's a crime to tamper with a, a ballot, it's a crime to try to commit voter fraud. And we have experience uh, dealing with instances of attempted voter fraud in the past. The fact that there are not many prosecutions for voter fraud to me is not indicative of the fact that we're not looking for fraud or we're not catching it in the instances, rare though they may be, that it occurs. It's the fact that the deterrence that we've been putting in place for many, many, many election cycles are actually working. All right. It's a very, very good system, I believe, and I think we need to trust it. And that's the second point, is that the fact that there are people out there that don't trust it um, is, is unfortunate, and it's a shame that our elected officials, who happen to be Republican, are not denouncing the efforts by President Trump to delegitimize this election. It is not in their interest, not in our party's interest, over the long term or even the short term, to... to chip away at the democratic foundations on which our country proudly uh, exists. And that is unacceptable. I think we need a wake up call. And I please would ask anybody who has a good idea as to how to get all our elected officials who are stubborn about not coming out and saying the right thing to do something that's very crisp, very clear, and very um, uh, to the point with our fellow Americans to say, let's move on. Let's accept the result. Let's do better next time, but let's get behind our leader to come, President-elect Biden. I think that wake-up call needs to happen very soon, and I'm afraid to see what happens if it doesn't take place in the next few days.